Hello ladies and gentlemen, today's episode is all about bulgogi, which is another name for Korean barbecue. This episode will cover two different recipes, one using gochujang and the other one using the soy sauce. Consider this as the universal guideline for bulgogi, so let's get started. We're going to start with the soy sauce marinade, cut scallion rounds, great ginger, and the mixing order is kind of important, so I want you to exactly follow this. Mix in soy sauce, mirin, that's Korean plum extract, and sesame oil. To this bowl of ingredients, you're going to pour sugar in, and whisk until sugar is fully dissolved. And then you mix in your solids. This is minced garlic, a tablespoon of grated ginger, and scallion round. For this recipe, I'm using thinly sliced pork shoulder. For 400 grams of pork shoulder, I'm using half cup of the marinade. Give the pork shoulder a little bit of massage action. And it's done. So simple, right? Now let's make the spicy gochujang marinade. You start with the soy sauce, and then plum extract, sesame oil, and then sugar. You knew I was gonna say dissolve the sugar first, right? And this is the corn syrup. It will add the sweetness and the glossy texture. And it is pretty damn sticky. And then you mix in the gochujang. Then whisk again until everything is fully incorporated. An insanely delicious and fragrant Korean chili powder. Here comes minced garlic. And a tablespoon of grated ginger. All the ingredients are in, so you just need to mix everything. If you exactly follow my recipe, the yield should be a little bit less than 1 liter. And fortunately, this sauce has a lot of use and different variations, which will be introduced in the following episodes. So just keep this in the fridge. Now the simple rule, 400 grams of the pork shoulder and then half cup of the marinade. Show some love to the meat. And unlike the soy sauce marinade, this can be cooked right away and still give you a good flavor punch. Now let's prepare some vegetables. We're going to julienne half of an onion. And you can prepare the scallion whichever way you want, but I personally prefer having a few different shapes. Just for fun, you know? And this is Korean green chili, which is not spicy at all and Anaheim chili for some color variations. And cabbage goes extremely well with the gochujang sauce. Separate the leaves and then you can cut them into bite-sized triangular shapes. Finally, we're ready to cook. Nam Seng. Start a pan on medium-high heat. And we'll begin with the soy sauce marinated pork shoulder. Two simple rules. Do not overcrowd the pan and do not agitate the meat as often. See, you gotta trust your pan. It's going to do the work for you. Flip the pork shoulder when it is browned. Immediately after flipping, you add the onions and some scallion greens. Now's the time to mix your bulgogi with veggies. Oh yeah, it's so easy and it's already done. Place everything in the center of the plate. And remember that not too spicy Korean green chili that you cut before. A little nest of scallion curls. Sprinkle some sesame seeds and it's done. Now let's cook the gochujang bulgogi. I personally like cooking this on high heat because gochujang is extremely flavorful when it's fully caramelized. Of course, the best way to cook this is on a charcoal grill or a wood fire. But we're cooking indoors, so you know what choice do I have? Just believe me once and then cook this on the high heat. You'll definitely like it. And drop the cabbage about 10 seconds after you put the meat on the pan. And after you flip, you add the onions. Mix everything together on the pan and it's finished. Stack everything on the center of the plate. Another scallion nest. And some sliced Anaheim chilies. 
and finish with sesame seeds. So this is it, two different recipes of bulgogi. And if you prepare the marinade ahead of time, then it is really, really easy and simple. And if you have a bigger family to feed, you can prepare this in a bigger batch and then keep it in the freezer for like forever. And if you make this at home, please save the sauce. I'm going to introduce several different recipes using exact same sauce. So just keep this handy. And last but not least, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next episode.